ourselves, uh-huh. We've got the skills, we've got the groove, we've got the moves that chill, chill, chill. Go Snow Tigers! <laughs> oh, yeah, that was awesome. Where's Chloe? She's really late. Guys, what am I going to do? A warm-up exercises? We got a lot of practicing to get in. I mean about my life. This is serious. I just had a Mondo argument with my parents. If I don't keep up my B average, I have to quit the magazine. <gasps> but that's not a problem, right? It is now. I got a C in chemistry, and it's pulled my average down to a B minus. Not cool. Angel, what you need is an easy A. I know just the class. Check it out, Chloe. Fashion and design taught by Mr. Easy A Nimbus. The equation is simple. Favorite subject plus cushy teacher equals Easy A. Fashion and design? You guys could teach that class in your sleep. Sign up for Woodshop. At least you might learn something. Like how to inhale sawdust in wood chips? No thanks. Chloe, are you in? I'm in. <laughs> Finally! I asked for these reports almost a minute ago. Now fix me a small, low-fat, decaf soy milk cappuccino with extra foam. Chop, chop. Mother of pink! Your thing sales are down 20%! Bratz is the number one teen magazine! Oh, those ratty little girls are killing my sales. Hey, pay attention, you freak. Uh, ah! Look what you just did! I've got to find a way to destroy Bratz magazine once and for all. Where's my extra foam cappuccino? I'm coming right up. What at you ugly little rat? For your sake, you better be talking to your sister. Oh, hello, Dr. Waggy Man. I assume my darling little Royale aced his doggy checkup. What? Overweight? Oh! Please! <laughs> of course I'll take care of it. Mm. Mm. Perfection. What are you doing? Campaigning. For what? The class orange? For your consideration, Dylan in the most attractive dude category? I'm trying to get support for the year in listings in the yearbook. There's an entry for a talking tangerine? Because <laughs> you've nailed that. For your information, last year's most attractive was a tall redhead. Obviously, I'm already tall. Ish. So I dyed my hair red, since I figured that's all I'm missing. That's not all you're missing. Oh, you're so right. Thanks. Yeah, baby. Mommy will get rid of all your little fleas, my darling royal. And your doggy diet starts tomorrow. Now let Mommy take you to the party. <laughs> Whoa! Heel! Get back here! Are we for fashion and design class? Way psyched. It's the easiest A we'll ever get. Chloe, this will pull your grade average right up so you won't have to quit the magazine. Fashion and design class. Hmm. Okay, what are you guys doing in fashion and design class? Woodshop was full. And we wanted to expand our horizons. This will be so much fun with all of us in the class. It'll be even more fun watching you guys flunk out. <laughs> yeah. Who let them in? Hello, class. I have some exciting news. We have a guest teacher this semester. Fashion and design will be taught by one of the most stylish women in the fashion world today. Alonze? Hillary Fluff? LoJ? Please welcome Styles High's very own alumna, Berdine Maxwell. Dean! <gasps> Hello, 
middle class. <laughs> Which brings us back to my central thesis. Pink is the mother of all colors. Any questions? Yeah. Can you ask the shop teacher to find space for us in his class? See me for your first essay topic on your way out. Pink is the new black? Discuss? Fuchsia? Fun on the brink of pink? Everything but the kitchen pink? The impact of 19th century labor unions on American textile exporters of pink fabrics? What? This will take a month to write. Well, you have a week. Here you go, girls. See me after class. Great. How are we supposed to write an essay on that? Ouch! I didn't know I'd be picking up the rejects from Woodshop. Let's see. How about 30 years of pink fashion at Styles High? <gasps> Great. Knowledge we can use for the SATs. Berdine, I, I mean, Miss Maxwell, can we talk about this assignment? I was thinking this class was going to be, you know, just kind of easy, and now I get this, and I just... I don't know if I can do it, and... Well, maybe if you spent just a little less time on Bratz magazine, you could get your schoolwork done. Which? <laughs> Royal, gotten rid of your fleas. We have to address your FAT problem. <laughs> Fortunately, I found two personal trainers to help you trim down. <laughs> Girls, your assignment for fashion and design class is to design the ultimate workout program. Uh, for do. Yes. For Royale. Huh? Royale is 14 ounces overweight. Get him down to his proper weight and you get an A. One ounce over and you get a big, fat, the choice is yours. Dylan, you can flex when I'm done. Okay, remind me again why you're having Yaz plaster a fake tattoo on your arm. Two years ago, the most attractive male spot went to Billy Yates, a known bad boy. I want a tattoo that says, Rebel Without a Pause. Then why don't you get a real one? I'm afraid of needles. Ow! I see you had some luck at the library. It's okay, Chloe. I'm hoping. It's my last resort. Guys, I've tried everything. The internet, the local unions, the Museum of Natural Fibers, even my mother. But there's nothing on 19th century pink textile whatever thingies. No way I'm gonna get a good grade in this class. I am so dead. I've pulled three all-nighters in a row. Well, I guess that means you don't have time to do your Dear Chloe column. <sighs> no, and without an A, I'll never be able to do any column ever again. Just get to it when you can. Schoolwork comes first. Check it out! 30 years of Styles High's history. Maxis, middies, mutton chops, and mullets. Everything you need to know about fashion, but we're afraid to ask. And to think you guys could have been in shop making a birdhouse. Whoa! What a gold mine! Years of the most attractive dude winners! Okay, fat boy. Sprint to one end of the room and back, and we'll give you a diet doggy biscuit. <laughs> what? 
You don't like Diet Doggy Biscuits? Well, they're yummy. Here, watch how much Casey likes them. Oh, I am gonna puke. <laughs> oh, I am it's not Ow! Watch where you're going, meathead. Sorry. So, like, what do you think you were doing? Skating. In the hall? So, like, how stupid is that? So, like, not stupid at all. The 1993 Most Attractive Dude winner happened to be a skater. Give me that yearbook. Let's check the index. Maxwell, comma, Burdine, page 102. Huh? The picture's been cut out, but there's a caption. It says, oh, Burdine Maxwell styles high's worst dressed. Chloe, you awake? Huh? I'm almost finished. With your dear Chloe column? Scorching. We need it. Oh, no. I meant my paper for Berdine's class. I still haven't started the column. Guys, I'm so sorry. I just... I'm not going to be able to get my column done. I might as well just quit the magazine right now before I let you guys down anymore. I... I just... <laughs> Emergency cheer-up time. <laughs> Chloe, you haven't let us down. We know how hard you're trying. But I missed my column deadline. Relax, I'll do your dear Chloe piece. Thanks, pretty princess, but what if Berdine's assignments get any harder? Then we can shut down the magazine if we have to. Shut, shut down, down the, the magazine? magazine? <laughs> get real. How can our assignments get any harder? Remember to see me on your way out for your midterm assignments. Don't breathe us out loud. See me after school. Write a sonnet about pink? A sonnet? You know, the old-fashioned word for rap. And for the brats, your assignment is to put on a complete fashion show from start to finish. Pink must be the theme throughout. What? How much time do we have to put it together? Three days. That's impossible. Oh, and by the way, it counts for 70% of your grade. But we can't do this project and still put out the magazine. Oh, well, not my problem. We're toast. Perfection. I'm going to have those brats for breakfast. Mine. No way those brats can do a fashion show and put out their rotten little magazine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, let's see how you did on your first assignment. Look, he lost 16 ounces. <laughs> you Incompetence. He gained three ounces. For your first assignment, you two get a big fat F. But Since you two morons are obviously too incompetent to reduce his waistline, I want you to design him an outfit that will conceal it. Have it by Friday or you fail the class. Now what are we gonna do, Kirsty? What we always do, get even. Huh? How? First, we need to find Birdface's yearbook picture. It's got to be hidden around here somewhere. Maybe Royale knows. get the show done and put the magazine out. For Dean's finally done us in. Wait a minute, guys. What happened to the girls with a passion for fashion? But Chloe, she's talking about an entire fashion show. Guys, if we all work together, we can do it. What do you mean, Angel? 
Jade, you design the clothes. Something rockin' with a touch of pink. Sasha, you take the music and moves. Yaz and I will handle the details. We put on a show and, oh, brainstorm alert. This month's magazine is all about putting on a fashion show. Love it. Feel it. Adore it. Let's do it. We're gonna make it happen, that's what I'm saying. Come on now. There's nothing impossible. Got a job, get it done, is what we're all about. No matter what the problem, we'll find a way. Come on now. Because we're unstoppable. Uh-huh, we know we got it. We stick together, yeah. We're gonna win every time we try. We're gonna get it right, cause Diet doggy biscuits in my classroom. Mommy's gonna get them for you. <laughs> ah! Those brats. <laughs> Good morning, girls. No need to sit. I'm having you expelled. <gasps> Report to the principal's office immediately. You know perfectly well what you did. This! <gasps> oh my gosh, is that really you? Mmm, nice dress. <laughs> like you said. Yeah, like everyone knows that black is very slimming. You stupid moronic idiots! If you ever come near my darling Royale again, I'll have you boiled in high fat oil. Oh, I can't believe you guys posted these pictures all over school. Uh, yeah. You saw the pictures? When? When we got to school this morning. Everyone was laughing at them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I took all of these down last night. And this is not me, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Casey, on your mark, get set. Run! Run! Miss Maxwell, if it's okay with you, we'd like to get our fashion show started. What? You're ready? Five minutes to show. 911, my male model is a no show. Okay, Mr. Wannabe Most Attractive Dude, you're on. Just be your super styling self. Yeah! Time for your sonic, guys. This is not your mother's pink. Hit it! Don't wanna protest. Don't wanna cut the sting. Just wanna escape and not have time to think. I like to check out all the chicks. Watch them walk. Watch them slink. In clothes so fine. This is not your mother's pink. Oh, uh, no, no. Uh, this is not, not your, your mother's pink. pink. Uh, uh, uh. I said it's not your mother's pink. Uh, tell me, not your mother's pink. It's not your mother's pink. Word. Thank you. 
freaks have ruined my reputation and defaced my dog. You failed, got it? F, 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 F! <laughs> It's official! You ladies are feasting on the winner of this year's Most Attractive Dude. Awesome! And all it took was being yourself. As scary as that thought is. So what do you think, Dylan? Rockin'! Not only was our issue on do-it-yourself fashion show the best selling yet, but the principal made Berdine give us all A's. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> Some article on models with brains. Thanks, Kim. And the article on modeling school ripoffs saved me some major cash. Thanks, guys. Hello, this is Yasmin. Uh huh. You girls want to catch the new slasher movie with us? Ooh, <laughs> too scary. Uh, no way. Seen it. That was London Milton's agent. The London Milton? As an heir to the Milton billions? Yeah, she liked my portrayal of supermodels in my article and wants me to interview her for the magazine. Whoa, London is so hot. She's on the cover of every major magazine. And for doing nothing but having a zillion dollars and bad hair extensions. Exactly, her only talent is knowing which parties to show up at. The last thing I want to do is interview some spoiled rich girl. There's no story there. How's this story? Bratz Magazine profiles now girl of the decade. Sell skyrocket. Aw, oh, come on, pretty princess. Do it for the magazine. Pretty, please? Yeah, right. You're an idiot. Listen to me, you no-talent brainless hack. You get me an interview with your client, London Milton, or you'll never work in this town again. London Milton's useless agent has obviously banned her from talking to the press. Really? Because Bratz Magazine has an interview with her. Yeah. What? She said, really? Because Bratz... I heard her, you moronic minion. How dare those brats try to outscoop us again. Oh, mother of pink. I want you two to track down London immediately. Once she finds out your thing wants her, she'll forget all about that crummy little Bratz Magazine. Track her down? How? Here, take my car and follow those brats. Find them and you'll find London. And don't even think of coming back without that interview. Chop, chop. Do you think we should tell Berdine that we failed driver's ed? Yeah. Wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. <laughs> Maybe if I drove, we would actually get somewhere. Now get out and check the brake lights. What? Just do it. London's a flake. She's not even here. I can't believe this. Oh, pretty princess. She's only five minutes late. Give her a chance. A 
Angel's right. You're a journalist. Keep your mind open. Let me, let me, let me see. Quit it. There's London. Okay, finally she's here. I can't believe she brought her limo and bodyguards. It's my turn. Shut up. It's my turn. Go! <laughs> Get your hands off of me! Hey, you guys, something's wrong. Hey, you! Stop! Yaz, talk to us! Hey, let go of her! <laughs> so you want to go for a ride, too? Pretty princess, what's going on? Hey, they're getting into the car! We gotta follow them. Follow that car! Uh, hey, I wanted to say that line. Pretty princess? Yasmin! Can you hear me? Answer me, please! Yasmin! Oh my gosh! This is so bad! Let's call the police! And the fire department! And the National Guard! Yasmin? All I got was her voicemail? And the FBI, and the CIA, and the PTA? Angel, chill! We'll get to the bottom of this. Maybe her battery is dead. I'm gonna call London's agent. Chloe, what's with the polishing? Uh, I can't help it. I don't know what else to do. Whenever I totally freak, I polish. Oh, poor Yasmin, what if she's been kidnapped and taken away to a mysterious location and held for ransom and... Angel, get a grip! You've seen too many reality shows. Right. Okay. Hey, jerk! Now stay there! Quit shoving me! You almost made me break a nail. You're like the worst driver ever. Just park it. Okay, Kirsty, now what? Casey? Why are we still, like, moving? Oops, I always forget to put it in park. Ah! 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 Oh, do you think Birdnose will notice? Watch him while I call her parents with a ransom demand. <laughs> this should be as easy as ordering fast food. <laughs> this better not take long. I have a hot party to go to, you know. <sighs> hey, I'm into yoga breathing too. <gasps> hey Luke, you look really stressed. You should get into yoga. Yeah, what do you think this is, a spa? Now shut up! Um... London's agent says as far as she knows, London is fine. The police say to call back in two hours. What should we do? People, it's time to get proactive here. Let's check out the restaurant. Hey, Angel, you okay to stay here in case Jasmine shows up? Sure, I'm fine. I am so not fine. The hostess said both London and Yasmin were no-shows. Look! Yasmin's cell phone! Oh, this is bad. Yas doesn't just lose things. Check out the footprints. Something definitely went down. Oh, I really love Bratz Magazine, but I just wish that you guys did more makeovers. You know, like the right eyeshadow and eyeliner can totally change your whole life. Yeah, thanks. I'll suggest we do a whole issue devoted to eye makeup in our next editorial meeting. Hot. Hey, Yasmin, what do you do to make over Luke? She is kidding, right? I mean, he could be really cute. He's already got a great bod. <laughs> She's not kidding. Hey, tough guys don't do cute. Well, first I'd start with his clothes. Way too much black. It makes his face look sickly. Shut up.
Really? London Milton. Yes, that's my license plate number. Return it at once. I don't care if it's not your job. King <sighs> Cab, this is Burdine Maxwell, founder, president, and editor in chief of Your Thing magazine. And the. Angel, any news? The Tweevils left Burdine's car on Bowery Street, and they were with London Milton. We're there. Yasmin would interview London in such a dump. That's a brats for you. Oh, 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 oh. Keep it down, dipwad. You want them to hear us? And a trendy new haircut. One that frames your face better. Yeah, that's what Francois, my hairstylist, said. You also need to act more relaxed and confident. Women really like that in a guy. Well, it's kind of hard to be relaxed in my line of work. Oh, well, you should really check out yoga. Here, try the tree position. Huh. Uh, oh! I'll use my shoulder for balance. Ah! Oh! oh. Oh, London! Where'd you learn that? Eris Kidnapping Survival School? Oh, oh. Quick, let's get out of here before he comes to! of mine will pay for this. <sighs> Mother of pink, I forgot my spare keys. <gasps> Look, there's Bertine's car. How many times have I told you, Luke? Hostages can't be trusted. Oh, I'm sorry, but she took a cheap shot. You girls try anything again, and you're going to feel pain like you've never felt before. Got it? He's like such a manly man. Uh, totally. I'm going to pick up the ransom money. If they don't behave, give them the special treatment. Give them a facial with this. Got it. So, like, how about an interview for Your Thing magazine? Your Thing? Uh, sorry. I don't talk to magazines that do articles on how to blow your nose after a nose job. Oh, that was my idea. Hey, how much do you get for allowance? Uh, $50 a week. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> a week at 60. So, like, how can you afford your mega-rich lifestyle? Uh, it's like so not like mega rich. The parties I go to are free. So are the museums and the libraries. You go to libraries? Yeah, I love to read, uh, especially mysteries. Wow, so do I. Like, what do your parents do anyway? They own a hotel chain and do charity work. Well, our father's a doctor. Uh, yeah, a podiatry. And our mother's vice president of women against change. Yeah. yeah! Angel, what's up? Sasha, London's agent just called. London's been kidnapped. They're demanding a ransom, and Yasmin's with her. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh no! London's parents have agreed to pay the five million dollars. I'm so scared. What if something goes wrong? What if they keep the money and Yasmin? She'll be all alone and lost in the world. And what if they hurt her? Oh, Sasha, I have no time for this. Don't worry, Angel. We'll find them. Guys, please be careful. 
Where on earth are those imbecile interns? Would you stop with the, uh, yeah, already? You're giving me a headache. Yeah. yeah. Bredine, have you seen Yasmin or London Milton? Oh, please. Like, I'd know where Yasmin is. Listen, London and Yasmin have been kidnapped. If Casey and Kirsty followed them, they could be in serious trouble. You bet they're in serious trouble. Look what they did to my car. Come on, Sasha, let's go. Hey, brat, get back here. I need a ride into town. And our dad doesn't even pay income tax. Yeah. Huh? That's it. I can't take it anymore. I gotta shut you two up. Give me your scarf. Uh, hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that hurts. Uh, I am gonna report you for kitten over brutality. Shut up. I need some tape. Uh, I have some tape for my nose job in my bag. There. That's like real imitation leather, you know. It costs 200 bucks. <gasps> a brass magazine? You traitor! Verdine's gonna feed you to the shredder. No, oh, but they have this really good article in there on supermodels. Ow! <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Look! Footprints! Look! Yasmin's notebook! They must be inside this building. Let's get the police here now. Oh my gosh, poor Yasmin in London. What if those evil kidnappers sneak them out of the country in oil drums and sell them to sweatshops, after which they'll be reduced to a life of begging on some dusty street in the middle of a war zone? <laughs> this Chloe chick gives good advice. I want to be a writer one day. Oh, that's hot. I've been studying journalism at college. Really? I didn't know that. A lot of people don't. They think all I do is go to parties and smile for the camera, but I have so many other passions. Of course, no one ever writes about those. I'll write about them. That's what I thought, just like you did with those supermodels. See, that's why I want you to interview me. I mean, if we ever get out of here. London, I'm really scared. So am I, Yasmin, but we'll get through this together. Luke, the cops are coming! Grab them and let's move! <laughs> oh! Survival school. I'm like so over this gross room. Hello, hello, we're like still here. Somebody get us out of here. What do you mean you won't send a cab to this neighborhood? Do you know who I am? Verdeen Maxwell, founder. What? You do know who I am? You try, Chloe. Wow! You're London Milton, hotel heiress and scorching party princess. I'm Dylan. At your service, your ravishing highness. Hey, Chloe, what's up? London was just showing us how to do a flying spin kick. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Why would a delicate little flower such as yourself need to know something like that? Mm, you never know. It may come in handy. Like with pushy guys? Show them, London. hi -ya! Oh, no, I didn't mean to actually hit him. Um, are you okay? Maybe you should give him mouth to mouth. Actually, Cameron, you should give it to him. You just took CPR. Whoa! Full recovery. Um, you know what they say. Can't keep a good man down. <laughs> <laughs> so I once again learned that you really can't judge a book by its cover. And speaking of covers, our issue with Now Girl London Milton was another big hit for Bratz Magazine. Hi! Everybody there.